you've all probably seen those crazy UFC edits. And these edits are insanely satisfying, so I tried to make my own one. And I think it turned out pretty good. But I'm here today to help you create your own UFC in an epic punches, 3D models and destruction. I've got it all covered for you. So let's start with the basics. Creating an epic punch. Now, there are loads of different ways to approach an epic punch. It all comes down to the creator's own style. Therefore, I'm gonna show you how I would do it. Now, the absolute first thing I would do would be to mask out the two subjects of the scene. That gives us a lot more control over the scene overall. Now, my style of editing is kind of magical. So I like to use the saber effect. I'll make a nice mask to follow the punch and then animate the start of set and end of set of the saber. Layer. I also like to set the layer to add. Now on the saber layer, I will add on light rays and animate the center to follow the tip of the saber. I will turn up the intensity of the light rays just as the impact happens. Speaking of impact, I love impact frames. So of course, I will add that to the scene as well. Freeze frame the two guys, cut the background and move it forward. It should look like this. Add a new adjustment layer, put on fine edges and turn the invert on and off and on and off and voila! impact frames. Now, there are many ways to stylize your impact frames, and I will show you my favorite one. Let's say that this punch is gonna launch him out of the octagon. So I will make a white solid and create a quick mask to the direction that he's going to fly in. Animate the mask expansion and turn it gradually up. When the impact frame stop, I'll keep a short moment of tension and then launch him with the position keyframes. Let's take a look at our saber layer and turn up the light rays up until the point where he's going to fly off. Select the keyframes, go into the graph editor and do this. Now all the tension is released with a bang. Now we've almost created an epic punch. We just need a few more things. First, let's launch the fighter. Duplicate the layer of the guy that is getting launched and go to layer, auto trace and press OK. Now the roto brush is turned into a real mask. Go into the masks and set it to subtract. And make sure to solo out this layer for now. Turn up the mask expansion a tiny bit. Delete the roto brush layer. Find the content aware fill layer and press fill. Voila! Ain't that beautiful magic? And the last three things we need to complete the punch are adding in some stock video fire embers on top of the saber effect. Also, we need heat distortion. So make an adjustment layer, put on turbulent displays, and animate the evolution and make a mask to follow the saber effects. Perfect. And the last thing we need is a light burst. Mm. Put the effect on an adjustment layer and animate the intensity and ray length from zero to high numbers to create even more tension and build up for the cool effects. Just add some stock footage, smoke and fire embers and the punch is done. Damn son, look at that cool punch. Play around with it as much as you want. Now, I know that some of you guys wanna do some of that crazy stuff. And I'm talking about cool 3D scenes. And you're probably worried about making a 3D character of the fighters. Hey! and complicated stuff like that. But guys, it's actually pretty damn easy. There's this website called Meshi, and all you have to do is give it a picture of one of the fighters, and then it will cook up a solid 3D model for you. Of course, it's not perfect. Close-up shots are probably not a good idea, but shots like flying off, colliding with a wall, are perfect with this 3D model. So, so far, I've given you the tools to make a nice punch and a 3D model, and I also promised earlier that I would teach you how to make some awesome destruction. So let's Let's hop right into Blender. It's so easy to make a destruction. So let's say you've built your nice scene and you want this fighter to smash through a wall. Let's use a plane as the floor, give it rigid body and set it as passive. Also give the fighter rigid body, his will be active and set as animated. This cube is the wall that he's going to fly through, subdivide it a good bunch of times, go to object, quick effects and cell fracture. I like to set the source limit to 250 and the noise to 1. The cube is now split into multiple fragments and it looks so cool. Select all of the fragments, give them rigid body active, check deactivation and start deactivated. And just one more thing while you have all the fragments selected, go up to object rigid body and click copy to select it. Now animate the fighter exactly how you like to and watch as the magic ha- Whoops. Make sure the floor is underneath the cube and also delete our original cube. Wow! 
Blender Magic and get as creative with this as you want and go absolutely bananas. And if you'd like the explosion to be in slow motion, select all of the fragments and bake the keyframes. Now scale the keyframes up and it's in slow motion. I can't wait to see what you guys can do with these cool effects here. Please share them with me. I would love to see what your creative minds can do. Remember to join my Discord where you can share it with everybody else too. Now have a really lovely day and remember to keep smiling. See you guys. Oh, that's enough work for today. And if the epic punch part was a little too fast for you, I have a detailed video of how to do it right here. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.